Uh, Readium is an open source uh, Chrome plugin that you can use to read uh, EPUB ebooks. Since it's open source, it's all free and it's uh, pretty advanced. Uh, to install it, just go to the readium.org website and then click Add to Chrome. Um, you might need to sign into your uh, your Google account first, and then uh, once it's installed, it will automatically appear it as a plugin. Um, you can see it in the top right there of Chrome. Uh, there's a couple ways uh, to load your ebooks. Uh, let's try opening a local file. So you can just click on Choose Files, and then you can uh, access your directories, and then uh, open up your uh, your EPUB. Okay, and once that happens, uh, the book cover will just show up on a screen and just double click it to open it. And you can scroll through the pages in Radium by clicking on the left and right arrows. And uh, Radium, one thing that's nice about Radium is it'll, it'll actually play multimedia, which most uh, e-reading systems do not do yet. Um, you can actually uh, click on the, the little gear in the upper right there and you can change the font, the margins, and uh, a few other settings such as the background to uh, suit your your uh, reading preferences. Okay, we're just going through our uh, ebook here. Uh, I'm not sure if you like the blue background much. We're just using that as an example. Okay, let's try a sepia background. Maybe that looks a bit nicer. There we go. Okay, and uh, you can also access the table of contents in the upper right there. And uh, that'll provide a nice navigation list where you can easily jump to different parts of the book, which is very useful for nonfiction. Um, you can also click on, uh, you know, footnotes, uh, hyperlinks, things like that. And let's take a look at the multimedia. Okay, it uses... Uh, Okay, um, as you can see, it uses the, the native Chrome controls to play audio and video, which are, are pretty advanced and work very well, actually. Um, this video right here doesn't have any sound, but you can see you can re uh, read multimedia right inside uh, your ebook. Okay, you can also, there's also a full screen mode option. And uh, one nice thing, you can actually access the metadata of an ebook and it'll just show things like the name and publisher and things like that.